over the past few billion years. In the process of evolution of the Earth, it can be said that there are many disasters, like being hit by an asteroid in outer space, gamma ray bursts in deep space, and its own ice age and supervolcanic eruptions, etc. It can be said that it is a complete miracle that life on Earth survived. And today, we look back at the evolution history of the Earth to witness how the Earth has evolved from the formation to the evolution of innumerable life. Hello, this is the Space Science Station. Welcome to this episode. To understand the evolution of the Earth, we must go back in time to 4.6 billion years ago. About 4.6 billion years ago, our solar system began to emerge from a massive molecular cloud. This cloud collapses and forms a vortex under the action of gravity. As more and more material accumulates, the temperature and pressure at the core of the nebula also rise. When certain conditions are met, the hydrogen element has a thermonuclear reaction at the center, and so our primitive sun was born. After the birth of the sun, the remnants of the far end continue to rotate around the sun. Over time, these materials gather again under the influence of gravity. The gas forms gas planets. Heavy elements form rocky planets like Mars and Earth. In the early days, our planet was very active. Hydrogen sulfide will be continuously spewed out inside it. Gases like methane and carbon dioxide and these gases form the initial atmosphere. At the same time, the Earth will continue to be hit by asteroids from space. But soon the Earth experienced a more violent impact. About 4.5 billion years ago, a planet the size of Mars is coming straight to Earth. And then under this epic impact, the planet was almost completely destroyed and threw a lot of material into Earth's orbit. And gravitational attraction binds the pieces together, which formed our Moon. At this time, the Earth already has satellites, but the surface is still hot lava and there is no ocean. All water exists as gas. With the passage of time, the temperature starts to drop the surface cools and solidifies, and the water condenses into small droplets and fell in the form of rain. And so the oceans formed. The Earth has become a world of water. Water is an important ingredient in the creation of living things. About 3.8 billion years ago, aquatic life appeared in the hot vents of the Earth's seafloor. These earliest forms of life were the most primitive single-celled life. For nearly a billion years at that time, these organisms changed the course of the world. They have undergone continuous evolution and prokaryotic life has emerged. About 2.5 billion years ago, there was a great oxidation event on Earth. Cyanobacteria evolved to become the first photosynthesizer on our planet the Earth began to fill with oxygen. But with the passage of time, the Earth has more oxygen and less carbon dioxide, causing the Earth to get colder and colder. So we experienced the first ice age 2.4 billion years ago. The whole Earth is almost frozen. About 2.35 billion years ago, glaciers began to recede and continents drifted and regrouped. A supercontinent formed 1.8 billion years ago, called the Columbia Supercontinent. And at this time, the sea, life in food has also become more complex. They have evolved over a long period of time, evolved from primitive prokaryotic life to eukaryotic life. Then, about 540 million years ago, there was an explosion of new life. This one is called the Cambrian Explosion of Life. 
Animals that evolved during this period had hard body parts, such as amputations, wrists, feet, chordates, etc. The most famous of these are trilobites. About 440 million years ago, a supernova explodes in a star 6,000 light years away. The gamma ray bursts that hit Earth and destroyed about half of the Earth's ozone layer caused huge changes in the Earth's climate. Approximately 80% of the species were killed off. The Earth experienced its first mass extinction. This event is known as the Ordovician Retention Mass Extinction Event. In the following days, after a long period of repair, the Earth began to have life. 350 million years ago, the first trees were born from the Earth's soil. At the same time, the first sea animals began to make their way. 250 million years ago, the Earth has had an unprecedented continuous volcanic eruption. A great deal of toxic gas and dust enveloped the whole Earth. Because organisms are unable to adapt to violent climate changes, 90% of all living things were wiped out. And this mass extinction event and paved the way for later animal evolution. 230 million years ago, the first dinosaurs appeared. They ruled the Earth for nearly 160 million years. If you can live in this era, witness the most land-based animals and the most ferocious animals that have ever lived. Of predators. But the good times didn't last long. And as time went by, a terrible disaster is coming to an end. About 65 million years ago, an asteroid 10 kilometers across. Our planet, its impact force is more than 100 trillion tons of TNT equivalent. During the violent impact, a large amount of dust debris flew to an altitude of 10,000 meters. Then these dust drifts around the world with the flow of the atmosphere and block out the sun cause devastating climate change on Earth. The dinosaurs that eventually ruled the Earth for 160 million years went on the road to extinction. Only small mammals survived. It was this extinction, paving the way for the emergence of later humans. About six million years ago, a whole new species has emerged. They were the earliest known humans. That is ancient apes. At this time, human ancestors could still walk on all fours. And until four million years ago, the ancient apes began to move from limbs to upright walking. After millions of years of evolution, they emerged capable man and homo sapiens. And also learned how to use tools and how to control fire. About 10,000 years ago, there are only people left on the Earth in the late stage. Instead of nomadic wandering, they settled down and embarked on a farming era. At this time, the earliest text appeared. The birth of human civilization. About 250 years ago, humanity has entered the Industrial Revolution, created the era of replacing manual labor with machines. Our social system and culture have undergone tremendous changes. At the same time, the population is growing. In the last century, human technology has reached a new height. And into the space age, we have been able to leave the Earth and travel to the distant moon. And man-made unmanned probes have even reached the depths of the solar system. To this day, human technology is still developing. I don't know where the fate of mankind will go in the future. But that's another story.